Good morning, every folks. So today is kind of a follow-up on uh, one that was requested before. I don't want to three that I didn't get to last week. So basically, this is the uh, showdown with the current missile boats in the roster. Uh, if you have any more, um, you know, that you'd like to see in a part three or something like that, let me know. Uh, last time was just all about the explosions. This one's all about the missiles. So uh, we have kind of a six-way battle royale here. So we have the Killer Whale from Silent Line, uh, Multibox from AC3, the Murder.exe, uh, one of mine. Uh, we have the Clover, uh, one of Cows. Uh, we have the Missile Party, uh, one of uh, Voxters. And then we have the Veronork from uh, AC4 to FA. And alright, let's see who's fighting who here. Got an HC test. Let's spin this. Looks like we got Multibox versus. Well, he's certainly not fighting himself. How about somebody else? Versus Clover. Alright. Now, let's see. Multibox was down in Carnivore, I believe. There we go. There's the Multibox. And his good old chicken and glory. I'm fighting Clover down here on Wednesday. Which, actually, uh, I thought I had deleted because of the bizarre way stuff saves. But, any dang ways, let's, uh, let's give this a go here. Yeah, hopefully I found a version of Danger Zone that won't trigger anything in the background. So if this actually makes it, you know, then we'll know it actually worked. Uh, yeah, there's, uh, there's like an instrumental version and a metal instrumental version. Those are the only two that I found that are far enough... Oh god, what is that? Uh, we appear to be missing our frame skipping! There we go. And volume is corrected. Okay. That was weird. Wait a second. Who's winning this? Who's what here? Okay, so Clover is definitely winning it right now. It's because Clover can actually figure out how to move. Oh yeah, there we go. That's the... Oh, I thought that was a kill move right there. No, that has to be it. Nice. Okay, so multi-box is out. Clover takes it. Uh, turn up the volume on this a little bit. Alright, next up we have... The Missile Party versus... Why does it keep wanting Mace to fight itself? Hang on. Versus Vero Nork. Fantastic. Alright, let's go ahead and get that started. And even though it says Baron Orc, obviously we have to reset this thing, because it does not like to play nice a lot of the time. Alright. Down here, and... and... There's the missile party. Now, Baron Orc, I'm friggin'... I'm, I'm expecting this one to, to win it. Because, oh man, all the missiles out of this thing, it's beautiful. Oh, gotta reset our, our danger zone. There we go, let's, uh... Alright, so yeah, this thing likes to attack from front and behind. Uh, since the Vernork uh, originally used only AS missiles, so those are basically the auto-guided ones, um, it's been swapped out to be more, um, well, it just fires as many as it can, and then it also has the, uh, missile pods, so, uh, it kind of trying to get that same feel going. Because this guy's stuff was usually about the same- oh, man. Man, oh. Okay. Honestly, one- one good volley is enough to- Yeah, there goes a thousand- yeah, no, there we go. Veronor takes it, missile party's out. Sorry, Vector. Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't know there was any audio to this, or any, uh, lyrics to this. Oh well. Don't delete everything. Alright, so Missile Party's out. Spin those wheels. Eventually. Alright, looks like we got Murder versus... Varanork, okay. Let's see if it does it. This one can definitely go either way. These are both 
very heavily skewed towards insta kills. I wish you could have had the original Danger Zone, but I tried that before. And they got on mad at me, and they sent me an email telling me how mad they were. Like, no, the suits are angry, and they will disappear you if you try that again. So, I don't want to do that. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Oh, man. <laughs> it's like, oh god, oh god. Having friggin', like, flashbacks over here. Just seeing my entire life. <laughs> Things were so close. Uh, it's not its not like going full bore with these things yet. If it goes maximum on the missiles, and uses the extensions, and uses the back pods, like in quick succession, oh man, it breaks the game. It's beautiful, and I really hope it pulls it off. Um, if it doesn't die here... Oh, jeez. There you go, that's, uh, that's the power of those quad nukes for you. It just went from 7,000 to 1. Still might win it. There we go, come on, do it, do it, do it! Yes! Man, I love this thing. Alright. Murder is out. Take your blood into the danger zone. Uh, Alright, we got Killer Whale versus Veronork. Goodbye, Killer Whale. Rip you. Um right, let me see the wheel again, because it's that's where I have what team he's on. Uh, let's probably turn that music back, huh? There we go. There we are. Good, let's skip ahead a little bit so it doesn't recognize that part. Uh, it's such a dumb system, you know? Try to argue fair use all you want. Like, what else are you going to use as background music for this? Anything? No. It, there's only one piece of music that'll ever be allowed. Okay, so you know what? In this environment, Killer Whale has a very good advantage. Because unless he gets overheated, um, he, he's got a massive AP advantage, and most of his missiles are set up for longevity instead of uh, instead of burst fire. Like, if this was LR or something and the, the terrain was destructible, that'd be a different story. But most of uh, Varenork's uh, damage is going to waste. There's actually a very good chance he'll just plain run out of ammunition here. Yeah, especially like that. Which would then mean that he would have to hope to do enough damage to just win by time. Yeah, if, if his four pods are only doing 100 damage each, that's not gonna look good. That's not gonna look good. Well, now it did 200. Did he just nail him with a rocket pod from friggin' like opening in the map? Well actually, in this map I guess he could also go for the friggin' Goomba Stomp defense. There's that. Alright, so he's out of ammo. He's got to dodge missiles for another minute and a half. And let's fast forward that. Okay, he actually might do it. Yeah, at this rate, he actually might pull it off. He's in the danger zone! Dude, Vernork came out. I'm loving this thing so much. Like, of all the builds in the roster, he's easily one of my favorite, like, top three. I think he's actually completely replaced Murder.exe in my book. Oh, okay. He's on equal grounds with him. Just because you can't really 
you can't really toss aside that amazing, uh, friggin', like, instant explosion goodness. <laughs> Holy crap. Holy crap, I thought that... If that last one would have hit him, it would have gone down to like, within 1 to 200. Alright, there we go. It's anything but solid, but that, uh... That puts it down to Clover and, uh, Varanorth. Ugh. Who's been, apparently in one of those Mortal Kombat tournaments, where he has to fight everybody. <laughs> uh, you know, the ones where you just, like, fight eight fights in a row while the other guy does one. I had that happen once, where I had, like, three fights in a row and the other guy had one, but that was mostly because nobody showed up. And, to be fair, most of those fights are over pretty quick, so I wasn't terribly tired. And it was awesome, because then one of us forgot our friggin' protective gear, so we got to fight without it. I was like, whatever, we're gonna take some bruises, but we're gonna feel all manly afterwards. Do this thing. Alright, come on, this is anyone's freaking game here. Oh, okay. We can go! Holy crap, Clover's doing it. Can't even tell what's going on anymore. Oh! Danger heat, more like danger zone. Oh, man. Yeah, there we go. Clover wins it. Clover frickin' takes it. Ugh. Alright. That was fun. Yeah, so if you got any missile boats you want to see remade, let me know. This is, this is a good time. See you next time.